Obviously, congratulations, guys. You're getting ready for the Blackpool and so on. You're getting more stronger and mature. Thank you. Uh, how did it feel tonight, actually? You know, it felt, it felt good. The atmosphere is really fresh. Yeah. And the Blackpool music being in the final was also really cool. We got a little, like, glimpse of, like, what it's going to be like. Yeah. So I think it was exciting. Can I ask you this about your shirt? I've noticed that when you sweat, you're first sweating in your armpits. So it's created a very deep, interesting pattern on the floor. You know, like brown, dark brown. Uh, it, was the, it was the idea when you designed the shirt? Yes, it was. And I actually prepared for this question because I heard I heard the Kozlovsky sweat question and I was like, okay, there's going to be more sweat questions. So, <laughs> second sweat question, yes. I really I really imagined that when I sweat, like it would create stripes and I'd look like a zebra on the Sahara, you know, just elegant, you know, just... That was my plan. No, he literally needs a new shirt every dance. No, yeah, I figured. To be, I figured. If I'm being real, we picked this material because it was so, like, comfortable and we yeah. didn't check at all if it was, like, water absorbent or not. So the first competition was a surprise. I was like, oh, crap. You know what? I would love to see you in that shirt plus gray pants, you know, like, all this. Yeah. No, whenever he, whenever we dance in the studio, he always has one big sweat stain as a heart right here. Yeah. Always a heart. The only thing I'll say, this event, great, great atmosphere, great everything. I just felt a little tight because I accidentally took my brother's pants instead of mine. He's going to be very upset with me. He's going to say you stretched out my pants. Sorry, Dave, but... So you're really sharing everything, guys. Very tight. Okay, one serious one. Uh, obviously, you, you, you're getting more serious. You're teaching a lot and so on. How do you feel yourself, obviously amateurs and so on, as a role as a, role as a teacher? How do you feel yourself responsible not to make exact copy of yourself in a kiddo whom are you teaching? That's a very good statement because I try as hard as I can to make everybody have their own personality. And I even tell them that I don't want any mini-me's running around. Like I want them to be like get inspiration. They can have inspiration from me, from Kennedy, from Agita. Like all the I see right now on the floor, I'm sorry to interrupt some people wearing similar like dresses like you guys and so on so it's I mean I think it's very flattering when people are you know yeah. copying you but I think everybody still can you can never be a copy of someone you always have something in you that's different than somebody else and all of our students have that for sure they have they have a lot of their own kind of spirits yeah. I'm not gonna be too specific but I know like more in Eastern Europe I noticed that there are studios that I'll say like stick to one hairstyle stick to one yeah. shirt style stick to one choreography style everyone then similar stay like you know they have a system and they play it safe I think for better or for worse we encourage a bit more exploration and I think I'm more honest with my students about who they remind me of like I try to draw parallels between kids and let's say pros or even older pros based on like oh I see this strength in you and that reminds me that this other person has that strength I never try to encourage boys to have my strength or girls to have Nika's strength because everyone's different but do you hit them on, on lessons if they if they misbehave oh I have a stick all the parents know about it but I don't hit them it's like a love tap in America this is a very it's, gray it's area a, it's, it's a love tap <laughs> it's, it's a love out of love it's a love tap I would say we stretch them we we maximize the rotation we stretch them it's not pleasant but